What do you think you're doing? What's it look like I'm doing? Back away from the drapes, Tracy. Monica, do not blame me for AJ's behavior. I absolutely do blame you. I didn't make him jump bail. You conned him. Whatever, Monica. The result is the same. You are going to lose your house, at which point it will become my house, and then I'm going to engage in some very needed redecorating. I really can't stand you. Thank you. I feel the same about you. So, stripes or pattern? I think I'd go with the stripes. And for the record, they look cheap. Monica, you are going to regret this. AJ will hurt you the same way he hurt Daddy and Alan and your precious You know what? Stop it, Tracy. It's okay, no, AJ. it's not okay. You know what? You told me that my child was injured, physically injured. Who the hell does that? Did it ever occur to you that Michael has a mother and father to call in the event of an emergency? Not to mention friends and siblings. He doesn't need you. He never <laughs> needed you. He needs me more than he knows. And you know what? If I hadn't arranged for you to jump bail last night, you would have messed up eventually. A two-for-one sale at Lonnie's Liquors, and there would be an AJ-sized hole in that front door. I'm sober. Yeah, today. But it's not even noon yet. Keep pushing me, Tracy. Tracy, this isn't the time. Stay out of it, Monica. Tracy! It's Edward. What's wrong with Eddie? He's unresponsive, his breathing is labored, and his pulse is very slow. Oh, my God, we've got to get him to the hospital. No, we don't. Monica! We have to get him to the hospital. Whatever's wrong with him, we've got to get it fixed. This is not fixable. How do you know that? You're down here, he's upstairs. We get him looked at, he's fine. He's not fine, Tracy. He's not going to be fine. I've tried to prepare you for this. Stop wasting my time talking. I'm going to call an ambulance. Put down the phone. I will not put down the phone. Put down the phone. Monica, we can't just let Edward him. Edward made his wishes very clear, and you know that. Right, he has a living will, so what is a piece of paper? I don't even know who drew it up, that hack, Diane Miller? Let me call my own lawyer. You know, I think your time would be better spent with your father. <sighs> You're right. He's probably bounced back by now and wants his breakfast tray. Somebody should check on him. All right, I'll go with you. The hell you are. Tracy, he's my family, too. You're not part of this family. You've been gone for how long? Exactly. Grandfather doesn't even know I'm alive. This could be my last chance. Last chance to what? To stake your claim in ELQ or prove you're not the loser he knows Tracy. you are? Tracy! You are not seeing my father. You can't do this! Yeah, I can. I'm his next of kin. I'm his daughter. I'm the decider in this situation. And hmm, let me think. I decide he goes nowhere okay, okay, near listen, my stop. father. Just a minute, please. Just think what grandfather would want. My father has not given a thought to you in years, and why should he? You are nothing but a crushing disappointment. You stop it! In fact, you're nothing in general to him or to any of us. Don't you dare follow me. Town, I mean, I just, I don't know. I, I could even imagine, imagine it without him in it. Neither can I. Look, uh, Tracy would not have a fit, not around Edward, so if you feel that you should go up and see him, go on. I just want to do what's best for Grandfather. How is he? Still unresponsive. I'm sorry. Uh, could you leave us alone? You rest, you. You take as much time as you need. You're gonna feel a lot better when you wake up. Don't you worry about anything, Daddy. I have everything under control. <laughs> Don't laugh. Eel, Q shares went way up today. I told you I could run a company. <laughs> I just guess I never thought I'd have to. Okay, what are the good news can I impart? Um, oh, I know. I found the missing $18 million. So there. Everything's fine. Your company is fine. 
same family as mine. So nothing is gonna upset you today. Nothing. What happened? Um, I, I don't, I don't know. Mom could probably tell you <clears throat> better than I can. But you know what? I just uh, know he'd want to see you, and. I know he'd want to meet Danny. Edward loved Jason very much. I can't believe this is happening. Are you ready? You know, go. Um, I'll wait for you down here. You coming? Um, no, Tracy doesn't really want me up there. You're his family, too. Listen to me. You're the one he needs to see. I want you to go up there, and I want you to tell him what he means to you. Okay, I'll tell him for the both of us. better already, Daddy. Color's coming back in your cheeks. What do the doctors know anyway? <laughs> Especially Monica. <laughs> You're Edward Quarterman. You're my invincible father. <laughs> Show them what you're made of, Daddy. It's, it's fine. How did you know to come? Uh, AJ called us. Well, I'm, I'm sure Edward is going to be delighted to see his great grandson. And you. And you. Can he hear us? I believe he can. And you should do. I'll give you some time. Thank okay. you. Start. Look, I know we uh, we haven't always been close, but I admire you so much, great grandfather. And everything that you do is out of love. I didn't always understand that, but I do now. My last name isn't Quartermain, and I didn't end up working at ELQ, but you made me feel like a part of this family anyway. Just thank you for that. For all of it. I love you. And I'll never forget you. I would like you to meet someone. This is your great grandson, Daniel Edward. Danny, can you say hi? Huh? I wish you could see him. Jason named him after you, and I thought it was perfect. <laughs> There's so much alike, you know. And Danny has big blue eyes. He's so sweet and he's so calm, just like Jason. I mean, he would be because Jason is Danny's biological father. That's right. Love one out. We're gonna make you proud. I'm gonna raise this family. You're gonna be proud. of you to uh, to call Michael and Sam let them know about uh, you know, 
I know grandfather would have wanted it that way, and I wanted to give them both a, a last chance to see him, you know, to um, tell them all the stuff that maybe they wanted to say. Do you know what you would say? Yeah. Yeah, I would say, um, I'm sorry for my drinking and um, for being greedy, for always being so jealous of Jason, and for uh, being a coward. See, I could, I could never stand up to him the way that Jason did, or even Ned. I think most of all, if I had one last moment with him, I'd say, look at me. I mean, really look at me, because I think you like what you see. And, um, <clears throat> you know, it's funny, because he was, he was always begging me to change, always telling me to get my head screwed on straight. And now that I actually have, and now that I'm determined to try and make things right, he's, he's never gonna know. AJ. How are you? I'm so glad that Edward got to see the baby. Thank you for bringing him. Yes, of course. I, I, it was amazing, wasn't it? I mean, he just reached out and touched him. It was just like he knew he was there. I guess you heard then, huh, about Jason? Yes. I heard that Jason is this miracle baby's father. I'm so sorry for not telling you sooner. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I know it wouldn't have made any difference to Jason, but it's something that I have prayed for. Me too. I just, I really wish Jason was here to say goodbye. Me too. Thank you. I saw AJ when I was coming down the stairs. Thank you. I know it means a lot to AJ that he could see Edward. How was my father? He held out his hand and Danny grabbed his finger. <laughs> I knew it. Don't count Daddy out yet. Tracy said uh, it would be okay if I came in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, EJ. He's gone. <laughs> what do you mean gone? He can't be gone. Tell her. He moved his hand. I was there, Tracy. Well, but th that means that... Oh, my God. It's not possible. Edward was with us to the end. He spoke. It was just one word, but it was clear as a bell. What did he say? Lila.